Hi guys, good day. Welcome to Vspox. Today I am going to walk you through the concepts of VPN and we are going to see a demo on how to create a classic VPN setup between GCP and AWS using dynamic routing option. The protocol used in dynamic routing is BGP that is Border Gateway Protocol. If you like this video, please subscribe to Vspox channel and click the bell icon for the latest updates. This is the agenda of this video. We are going to discuss on these topics in this video. What is VPN? VPN stands for Virtual Private Network that allows you to create a secure connection to another network over the public internet with the help of encrypted tunnels. VPN helps the remote users to connect to their offices, data centers, applications and resources more securely using the private IP addressing space. VPN is classified into two types basically, point-to-site VPN and site-to-site -site VPN. It is further classified into two based on its routing mode and they are static routing mode and the dynamic routing mode. Point-to-site VPN is represented as P2S. A point-to-site VPN connection lets you to create a secure connection to your remote network from an individual device. A point-to-site connection is established by starting it from the individual device. The devices can be a mobile, desktop, etc. and so on. A site-to-site -site VPN connection is represented as S2S where two or more different networks are connected together using the IPSec tunnels. In this connection model, devices in one network can reach devices in another network and vice versa. What Google offers in VPN? It offers two types of VPNs, that is the classic VPN and the HA VPN. We have high availability option in HA VPN where two interfaces are created with one or more tunnels in each interfaces. This gives an SLA of 99.99% and it supports only dynamic routing. On the other hand, Classic VPN does not use the high availability but it supports dynamic and static routing mode. In this video, we are going to see the demo of how to create a Classic VPN between GCP and AWS using dynamic routing. The protocol used for dynamic routing is BGP and this is the exact architecture for the VPN setup. Since it is a dynamic routing, BGP sessions will automatically broadcast the routes between GCP and AWS. It's quiz time. Please answer this quiz by clicking your right top corner of your screen. And your question is, the protocol used for dynamic VPN routing is what? The options are TOP, BGP, ICMP. Answer will be discussed in the next slide. The answer is BGP, Border Gateway Protocol. Let us proceed to see the demo. These are the things that we are going to do in this demo. We are having around 9 steps for this demo. Step number one, log in to GCP console and log in to AWS console. To save the time, I have already logged in to GCP console and the AWS management console. Just cross check whether you logged into the correct project.
Now step 2 create a VPC subnets and virtual machines in GCP. So these steps are already done. If you don't know how to create a VPC subnet and virtual machines please revisit the previous video of Vsparks channel. Just I am cross checking whether the concerned VPC is available or not. Yes it is available. Similarly cross check the machines. So these steps are already done to save the time. Now it's step 3. Similarly you just create a VPC subnet and virtual machines in AWS. These steps are also done previously. If you don't know how to create a VPC subnet and virtual machines in AWS, you please revisit the previous videos of Vsparks channel. All set. Now it's step 4. step 4 we need to reserve a static public ip for the customer gateway so just go to the console of gcp under vpc network click external ip addresses and reserve one static ip address make sure that this ip address should be created in the region where the vpn setup is going to get created So for this demo I am using Asia dash East one, which is the Taiwan region. Kindly note down this external IP address. Now it's step five. In GCP console, create a cloud router with a ASN. ASN stands for Autonomous System Number. So this number is used for the bgp sessions so now i am creating a cloud router in the gcp console pick the correct vpc network and the region under google asn just give it as 6500101 So if you don't know the range for this uh, random number just click the question mark besides the Google ASN it will tell you the preferred ranges Now it's step 6 create a customer gateway virtual private gateway and then site to site VPN connections in AWS So go to the AWS console under VPC under virtual private network just click customer gateways create a customer gateway give a name tag the routing option which we are choosing is dynamic routing option and the bgp asn so this asn number should be the same which we have given for cloud router of gcp and the ip address should be the ip address which we have reserved in gcp console I mean the public IP address. Yeah, CGW is created. Now it's time to create the VPG. Give it as custom ASN. Make it as six five double zero two. So this six five double zero two is for the BGP session for AWS. Next, attach the VPG. to the concerned vpc it will take some time for attaching now go to site to site vpn connections create a vpn connection give a name target gateway type should be vpg mention the vpg that we have created a few seconds back similarly mention the cgw 
and the routing option should be dynamic. Leave the other fields as default and just click create VPN connection. Now the VPN connection is created but its tunnel status will be in down state because we haven't created the VPN setup in GCP side. So there won't be any handshake between them. So now it's step 7. Enable route propagation and download the VPN configuration file from AWS. So just go to route tables. Enable the route propagation. So only if you enable route propagation, the BGP session will automatically update the routes of GCP to AWS side. Similarly, routes of AWS to GCP side. So now route propagation is enabled and then we have to download the configuration file of this VPN setup. So the vendor should be generic. Since we are using cloud on the other side, the vendor should be generic. So this configuration is applicable to all the generic vendors. So now this configuration file has all the details of the AWS side which we are going to use in the GCP side. So this is the first tunnel configuration details. Now step 8, in GCP side create cloud VPN with two tunnels. And the navigation menu, go to hybrid connectivity, click VPN and say create. So as you know, there will be two types of uh, VPNs that is offered by Google. So we are going to go for classic VPN. Just give a name tag here. Pick a network which is VPC-2. You have to pick the IP address which you have reserved in GCP as well. So this is tunnel number 1's configuration. So you can get all those details from this uh, configuration file. So the IKE version is number 1 and copy the pre shared key. IKE stands for Internet Key Exchange. Make it as IKE version number 1, paste the pre shared key and then remote peer IP addresses. Whenever you see the word peer, it's our AWS. So the uh, peer IP address should be the outside IP address of virtual private gateway. So our uh, virtual private gateway is in AWS. You can also get these details in the AWS console also. And then the routing option should be dynamic. Pick a router, cloud router and configure the BGP session for tunnel number 1. Give a name, Peer ASN, that is our AWS ASN, which is 65002. BGP Peer IP and the Cloud Router BGP IP will also be available here. So the inside IP address of Virtual Private Gateway is our peer PGP IP. So this IP address is our cloud router's BGP IP. Similarly, you configure tunnel number 2 details. For tunnel number 2, you can get those details in the configuration file. So I'm just copying the pre shard key. Give 
you know the remote peer IP address is the outside IP address of virtual private gateway for tunnel number 2. You need to configure the BGP session for tunnel number 2 as well. Now we have created two tunnels. Yeah, I made a mistake in the uh, tunnels name. Just I'm editing it. So once you click create, the VPN setup or connection is created in the GCP. Thereby the GCP and the AWS cloud will do a handshake. Once the handshake is success, the VPN tunnels will become up in both the sides. This will take some time probably 10 to 20 seconds now you can see both the tunnels in GCP side is up in AWS side is also up keep refreshing so that you will get the latest updates yeah. now this uh, BGP sessions would have been uh, uh, broadcasted the routes automatically you can cross check the same see a new route has been broadcasted automatically similarly the routes of AWS would have been broadcasted to GCP this is the advantage of using dynamic routing now it's step 9 test the VPN connection so we can try to communicate from GCP to AWS or AWS to GCP so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reach the AWS machines from GCP using its private IP addresses. So just copy the private IP address of AWS, connect the GCP machine using its SSH console, just type ping and the IP address of AWS machine. You'll be getting the responses. Provided you should open the uh, concern the firewall rules in both the machines. We have opened all the ports in both the machines that's it this is a summary of this video which we have discussed uh, for the past few minutes thank you from this parts and thank you for watching this video